<laughs> now, my co-mates and brothers in exile, hath not old custom made this life more sweet than that of painted pomp? Are not these woods more free than the envious court? Here feel we not the penalty of Adam. The season's difference as the icy fang and churlish chiding of the winter's wind, which when it beats and blows upon my body, even till I shrink with cold, I smile and say, this is no flattery. These are counselors that feelingly persuade me what I am. Sweet are the uses of adversity, which like the toad, ugly and venomous, swears yet a precious jewel in his head. And this our life, exempt from public haunt, finds tongue in trees, book in the running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in everything. Come, shall we go and kill us venison? <laughs> And yet, it irks me, the poor dappled fools, these native burgers of the desert city, <laughs> should in their very own confines with forked heads have their round haunchers gored. God forgive them that so much have swayed your majesty's good thoughts away from me. I will redeem them all on Percy's head and in the closing of some glorious day. Be bold to tell you that I am your son, when I shall wear a garment all of blood and stain my favors in a bloody mask which, washed away, shall scour my shame with it. And that shall be the day, whene'er lights, that this same child of honor and renown, this gallant Hotspur, this all-praised knight, and your unthought of hairy chance to meet. For every honor sitting on his helm, would they were multitudes, and on my head my shame's redoubled. For the time will come that I shall make this northern youth exchange his glorious deeds for my indignities. Percy, is but my factor, good my lord, to engross up glorious deeds on my behalf. And I will call him to so strict account that he shall render every glory up, yea, even the slightest worship of his time, or I will tear the reckoning from his heart. This in the name of God I promise here, the which if he be pleased, I shall perform. I do beseech your majesty may salve my, the long-grown wounds of my intemperance. If not, the end of life cancels all at all bands. And I should die a hundred thousand deaths, ere break the smallest parcel of this vow. <laughs> 